Well, good morning. This is Dr. Bill White with the American Orthodontic Society, and I'm going to talk about follicular movement of teeth or moving teeth where you don't actually touch them. And this has to be done early when the person is developing and you see you have a problem coming. And this is where we have problems with people who have a large parent on one side and a broad face and a narrow facial structure on another and the offspring might have the big tooth with a narrow face and you've got to deal with it early in here. Now, I've, in uh, places in the world, I, I worked in Africa for a while and, and none of the kids had any problem like this in little villages where they didn't swap uh, and move around so much. Uh, now, in the United States and every other country in the world now, we're just terribly mixed up. I mean, with people, it's, that's fine. But sometimes a person's going to get the large tooth with a small facial structure, and you really need to reduce the teeth. The teeth are, come from the same ectodermal layer as the facial tissue that skin comes from. So let's get started. I'm, I've shown you one case from start to finish, and now I'm going to go in and make three little short videos on just the x-rays of the, the case. So let's see if what shows off here. Uh, this is a, a, another case started in 1972 now. This was a long time ago, but I've been doing this for years, and I've never read anything about follicular movement of teeth. And to me, it's an essential thing if you're going to work with kids. Maybe you call it something else. But we were doing this in 1972 to 19 to 2003 now. And I think that adds up close to 50 years. I've been talking about this and lecturing about it, but very few people that I know are doing anything with it. So I wanted to come in here now that we've got uh, these videos that just go all over the world so people can see this. And this is the best way to do cases that start off like that. So in this particular case, you can see we've got these three teeth right here trying to get into this space between the lateral and the uh, six-year molar over here. And there's room in there to get the case that way. But another part of the mouth, like we've got the six-year molar here, and here is a lateral that's turned sideways, and we're going to try to stick these three teeth in that space. Over here, this area here, and we're trying to get these teeth in there. These three up here, we're going to try to put them between the lateral and the six-year molar. You can put anybody's teeth in their mouth, but you may have a, you have to enlarge the, the bone structure in there, and it just doesn't look right. And if you push them back, and then you've got to take out the wisdom teeth. And all these people that run around with a halo on their head say, well, we don't ever extract the teeth. Well, they extract the wisdom teeth and act like that's not a tooth. Well, it is a tooth, it's made in the same place, and it's in the best chewing position of any day. Well, let's get on with that, and let's look what happens in this case here. We're just looking at the x-rays. Now, we see the case, we tell the people about it, and what's going wrong, and what needs to be done in this particular case. And usually I would look at the parent, the father, the mother, and the people in the family, and you see this problem that one of them has got this unusually large uh, facial structure and large teeth, and you realize what's happening here. So we'll come back over to this case now. And so we take a panorex. We've, we've gone through, now this is the second panorex that we've 
used and this is so obvious now this tooth is growing at this angle coming into these teeth and this one at this angle right here running into the upper laterals they'll move this hit the root and the crown moves out this way as it comes down of course it'll show the crown back against the centrals and everything and this is stuff that you have to recognize early in the case and uh, if you're going to work with young people this is some pediatric dentist really in my thinking have to know about and here's this tooth we're going to take this out now you watch this tooth come off of this this follicle and we have a tooth forming and then you have a a little bag around it filled with fluid and each one of them is developing that way now this fluid this bag will push bone out of the way but it can't push the tooth structure out of the way so in this particular case right here let's see what happened to the next of uh, the video this was five of 73 we took the first, the second video here is the i mean uh, not video it's a panorex now we've taken the teeth out or sent them to them and had the people take the teeth out now watch this follicle around this tooth and this tooth right here and this tooth and this one right here now watch i'm going to go back and see if we can show you what look where they were they were in close close contact here close contact here close contact up here and here and now we take the teeth on one side and this follicle assumes a circular uh, round that holds more than any other shape you get and so when you move this that tooth will move away from that and you see where it moves away and now we go ahead and it's obvious this tooth will erupt right down in there and watch what the angle was to start with right here and you look at the angle now and that was moving the tooth without moving or even touching the tooth we're follicular moving the teeth so the follicle forms a circle again and the tooth moves out to the center and heads where you want it. This one does too, this one does too. I'm just saying that this is something people in mixed areas of the world need to understand because you're going to have children from parents that are not the same uh, facial structure and you're going to have this problem and you need to deal with it real early you don't want to wait till they're 12 or 14 and this thing's already screwed up and then do it you need to do it to start with and now we'll, let's watch this and go on through this video i want to and now here are the second molars second deciduous molars you see these teeth right here now we just wait it's uh this is uh january of 74 and here we're in february of uh, 75 and this tooth has come up and eaten this tooth with the roots away same thing over here same thing here these teeth look like they never were at this angle like this they're just straightened out and coming in and now this will come up in here now this is uh, these deciduous teeth the uh, the follicular tissue eats away the dentin structure in the tooth and it leaves the enamel it won't uh, it won't absorb absorb the enamel of the deciduous tooth but let's see that's february 75 we're going to go to uh, 8 of 75 that's uh february that's uh, that's another five or six months another one here and this one has already lost it still look where this tooth erupted this one is coming out the tooth's going to be rotated 
So we have to finish that. You just won't have it. These teeth have moved right into position. They couldn't be in a better position to come in the mouth. Well, this tooth is rotated a little, and it's going to have a problem. This one right here, this will come out, and this tooth will come right up in that place, and this is all going to drift forward. And if they have room enough in the mouth, the ribs and teeth might come in, but I'm not sure yet. I don't know how much they're going to grow, but we're leaving the wisdom teeth alone for this point. Now let's go to another one. That's number six, and that's eight of uh, seven. And here we go. Uh, it, uh, let's see, I can't tell. That's number seven, Panorex. And that's 77. And uh, this, this side has come in almost ideal. I mean, and here this is. And now we've got room to the possibility of the wisdom teeth coming in the mouth. And these teeth are lined up, and I've not touched this with anything at all other than maybe we reduce the baby teeth come in. And so this is follicular movement of the teeth or moving the teeth where you want them without actually touching the tooth. And that is something to know. And I've been talking about it for 50 years and very few people that I run into seem to know anything about it at all. And you're out here working on these people and you think, this has happened without me touching the teeth. And that's the best orthodontics as possible to make. In other words, you've got somebody, they're, they're functioning correctly now, these wouldn't be lined up this good. So you have to correct the function. And I hope this will soak in. And people all over the world, you can do this where people are mixed up I mean, you got, and now uh, everybody is stirred up, and, and, and now with its air travel and everything, there's different people all over the world. And so this, well, this is going on. This is needs to be known. All right, now here is case, I'm going to do case number two, but I'm going to just stop at this point right here, and I'll show you that one later on. Now, I'm going to stop it. Is that correct?